It's time for Recipe of the Day. Did you cook up some chicken yesterday? And do you have some leftovers? I've got the perfect thing for you to use those chicken leftovers for chicken salad. Such a wonderful thing to have for lunch or for dinner. Except I have a twist for you today. This is an avocado chicken salad. So I'm talking about not like a garden salad with chicken on it. I mean, where you normally would mix together chopped up chicken with mayonnaise and other ingredients to make a filling for sandwiches. Except for this one, you're using mashed avocado instead of the mayonnaise. And so you still get that like creamy richness, but without, you know, the mayonnaise. And I will say I am not a mayonnaise hater. I actually really really love mayonnaise. I just know that it's not necessarily the healthiest thing to have big gobs of for a meal. And so if I'm trying to have just a little bit healthier, add some extra vegetable, then this is a great option. You know, I've also told you about the cottage cheese chicken salad that I make quite often. That is wonderful too. I love cottage cheese. I buy this low fat brand that has all the like probiotics and stuff that yogurt's supposed to have. And so I think it's probably extra healthy. I don't know. I'm not really a nutritionist, but I love that brand of cottage cheese. I can't remember what it's called. It's blue. Anyhow, I put that cottage cheese with chicken and celery, green onion, salt and pepper in a sandwich. And I love that. I will link to that for you as well. But today is the avocado chicken salad. So what you're going to do is get half of an avocado. And this makes enough for two modest sandwiches or one big honkin' sandwich, okay? So half of an avocado and you put that into a medium-sized bowl and mash it up with a fork until it's smooth. I'll tell you, one of the things that I do, especially if I have a lot of avocado to mash, which is not true in this case, but I often do for my kids, they love avocado toast, I will get my like square or rectangular Rubbermaid food storage containers or just something a little bit bigger that's very flat on the bottom, like a nine by nine or eight by eight cake pan. And then I put the halved avocados without the pits or any of the peel in there and I put them cut side down and then I use a potato masher. And the potato masher gets nice, right and flat with the bottom of that flat pan or container. And I just mash away and it's way quicker than fighting against the side of the bowl with a fork where things are kind of rounded. So you could do that. It'll work here too. It's just not necessary because you're just doing half an avocado. To that, you're adding one and a quarter cups of diced cooked chicken, one rib of celery, finely chopped. And I said rib of celery. I always laugh when I see stock of celery in a recipe. I know I'm being like pedantic and annoying, but a stock of celery is like the whole bunch of celery that you buy. That's the stock. So like if you're making, I don't know, chicken noodle soup or something and and a recipe calls for two stalks of celery, I'm just like, whoa, that's a lot of celery. I know they don't mean that. But anyways, I laugh in my head. So it is one rib of celery, finely chopped, two tablespoons of chopped green onion, and then half a teaspoon of lemon juice. That is bringing nice tang, but it's also helping your avocado not to turn brown too quickly. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix that all up in your Rubbermaid cake pan or bowl. And then you put that into wraps or on sandwiches and like just a really healthy, delicious chicken salad sandwich, right? I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for this podcast episode, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash R-O-T-D. Everything there is arranged by date. And so it's helpful to know that today is June 24th of 2024. And I'm also going to tell you about my newsletter. I send out really helpful, great emails where you get great seasonal ideas for what to cook now and just inspiration, links to some of my favorite recipes. It's very easy to sign up. Go to cookthestory.com and click on start here and you'll see the sign up for the newsletter right there. Or you can go to cookthestory.com slash start hyphen here and that takes you there. Go ahead and sign up and then you'll be hearing from me even more, not just every day on this podcast, but also in your email. So many places to find me. I'm also Cook the Story on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So look for me there. Lots of great videos coming out lately. I'm having so much fun with that. I am Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast, Recipe of the Day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. 